2018 was about connections, connecting our state to the world, connecting companies with the right resources, and connecting the people of South Carolina with new opportunities. In April, the State Ports Authority officially opened Inland Port Dillon, modeled after a similar facility in Greer, which celebrated its fifth anniversary this October. The opening of Inland Port Dillon sent a signal to the world that Team South Carolina continues to prioritize global connectivity. More than just improving the state's logistics assets, we also enhanced the ability of people to travel to and from South Carolina. In the fall, British Airways announced plans for new non-stop air service between London's Heathrow Airport and the Charleston International Airport. To partner in a new, vent new venture into a new city in the United States is just about as special as it gets, and we don't do these things lightly. We're using one of the best aeroplanes um, in the world, which is a Boeing 787 Dream. As South Carolina got more globally connected, SC Commerce implemented some new initiatives to match South Carolina firms with the resources they need to succeed. In February, our Office of Innovation launched Three Phase, a new effort aimed at helping small businesses acquire federal grant funding. And in September, we announced SC Codes, a statewide program designed to provide free access to code education for all SC residents. SC Commerce's business services team also took a major step forward this year, relaunching SourceSC.com, the online home of the state's material and service locator program. The team also continued to host business-to-business -business supplier matchmaking events throughout the year. To meet the needs of in-state employers, our Workforce Development Division unveiled Manu First SC, piloted previously with companies like Mercedes-Benz Vans and Volvo Cars. Manu First SC is a program that allows prospective employees to jumpstart manufacturing careers with a certificate in lieu of experience. Speaking of Volvo Cars and Mercedes-Benz Vans, both automakers held grand opening ceremonies for their respective plants in 2018. It's really a historical milestone for our company today. I would officially declare the Richville plant open for business. We aren't just building brands here, we are building futures. We would not be able to achieve this without the support of the state, the state of South Carolina. Volvo Cars and Mercedes-Benz Vans weren't the only ones to have previously announced projects come to fruition. However, Blackboard, Magna, Samsung, and many others also opened major operations this year. As we bring another successful year to a close, making the right connections will remain a priority for our team. And as it does, South Carolina will continue to thrive in 2019 and beyond.